I'm Nancy Showalter, and you're listening to Spirituality for the Politically Incorrect podcast. Welcome, all radical paradigm shifters and creative change makers. You who dare to create a better life and a better world, tap into the power that resides within you and use that power for constructive change. Hello and welcome to today's episode. Is common sense that common anymore? Well, Will Rogers says common sense ain't common. Let's look at the dictionary definition for common sense. That's a good place to start. It's defined as sound, practical judgment that is independent of specialized knowledge, training, or the like. Just normal, native intelligence. So, you'd think that every healthy individual possess it. However, that unfortunately is not the case. And sometimes lack of common sense can sabotage our efforts to create abundance. So in this episode, we want to look at this aspect of common sense and are you actually applying it and following it in your life? Sometimes we're so conditioned by specialized knowledge and training that we ignore our normal native intelligence. Or we're so influenced by our environment and what everyone else is doing that we completely forget about common sense and just move along with the herd, never questioning or thinking beyond what is in front of us. Now, I would imagine that most people listening to this podcast don't really engage in that kind of behavior, just getting caught up in the latest whim in society. But I do believe there are a lot of people who do. And if that's you, and maybe even just by a little bit, it's good to look at this. I find that people in societies do some really funny things that don't always make sense. Take black people in America who try to lighten their skin and straighten their hair, while white people are paying money to go to tanning salons to darken their skin and use curling irons, get permanents so that their hair is curlier. If common sense were all that common, then people would make different choices in their lives. They wouldn't eat junk food. They wouldn't smoke cigarettes. They wouldn't use recreational drugs to escape or have a thrill because these things are clearly not in their best interest. They wouldn't buy useless things either or gamble away their money or endlessly waste their time. Neither is it common sense to think that if you take nude pictures of yourself and give them to someone, anyone, that they will always remain private. This always amazes me when I, I hear about people's private nude pictures being exposed. Or what about if you break the law, you're not going to have to pay a price. Doing things that are clearly not good for you is not common sense. And I think the Dalai Lama gives us a great for example of what I'm talking about. When asked what surprised him most about humanity, he answered, man, because he sacrifices his health in order to make money, then he sacrifices money to recuperate his health. And then he's so anxious about the future that he does not enjoy the present. The result being that he does not live in the present or the future. He lives as if he is never going to die, and then dies having never really lived. So we don't want this to be you or me. We want to think beyond what the world offers, and we want to use our common sense as to what is best for each of us, for you, for your loved ones, and live the abundant life without sacrificing your values. Think about it. Are there some things in your life that perhaps you override common sense and do, maybe because of your peers or people you work with or people just in your social circle that you find you want to influence in some way and maybe you do things that are not in your best interest? They're not common sense. 
again, let's reflect this week on this because this is an opportunity to make different choices in your life when you are doing things that are not in your best interest. Let's just give ourselves an assignment and say this week we are going to look at one thing, identify one thing that is not in our best interest that we're doing and let's make a different decision. Let's decide to eliminate that or modify it or whatever the case may be and do what is in our best interest. So have a great week and I will see you next week. Until then, keep an open mind, a generous heart, and a powerful spirit. Thank you for being with me today. And if you enjoyed this episode, please subscribe, download, and comment. I'd love to hear from you, and your support is much appreciated. And don't forget to go to theawakeningnow.com for free bonuses and information on my new book, You Were Born to Be a Christ, But You Were Taught You Are a Sinner. Awaken to who you really are. See you next week.